Hi everyone, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, we're going to cover my country number 80 to visit every single country in the world and that country is Uganda. The number one thing that I wanted to see in Uganda when we went there was to do gorilla trekking at Buindi National Park. The trekking would cost us 704 US dollars, which is quite expensive, and it was close to about $1,000 Canadian by the time you make that conversion. The launching point for Buindi National Park would be a city called Kabale, which is not too far from Rwanda. So actually, after landing in Rwanda, we had our driver drive us all the way to Uganda into the city called Kabale, which took about an hour and a half or so to reach. And we stayed in a hotel called King's Hotel Kabale. We paid about 32 US dollar for that overnight stay at King's Hotel Kabale. And their customer service was fantastic. It was top notch. I can't say good enough things about how good their customer service is. The bad thing about that accommodation though, was that accommodation itself was not very pleasant. The room was dingy. The washroom was gross. There was insects all over the room and it was just not a pleasant experience. So I'm not sure if I can recommend that hotel to people, maybe for a one night stay as a launching point to do gorilla trekking. But overall, it's not my first pick, even if the customer service was top notch. That accommodation was so freaky that my girlfriend had trouble sleeping that night and I can't blame her. It was quite awful. We woke up really early the next morning about 4 or 5 a.m and it was quite a pain to deal with a company that we booked it because they were not very good at communicating but they did send a driver to pick us up that morning to drive us to Buindi National Park. The driver was very friendly, he was very pleasant, very easy to talk to, very easy to deal with and he got us all the way to Buindi National Park where we started the gorilla trekking adventure. The experience started with a cultural dance from the local Ugandan people which was very nice and a lot of people gave them some tip after their dance was finished Afterwards, we started trekking right in the jungle to look for those gorillas. Finding the gorillas is very random. Some people get lucky and they see them after one hour of trekking. Some people get unlucky and they would be trekking for 10 hours until they would see one and sometimes they don't even see one. So for our trekking itself, we got very lucky because within just a little bit over an hour, we did see the gorillas and they were fantastic. They were very docile and they were not threatening to humans even though they are huge and they look kind of scary. But at one point, one gorilla did jump in front of my sister, not to purposely attack her or anything, but he was just trying to go to his next destination. So he jumped and my sister freaked out. We got up close to a few more gorillas during this gorilla trekking before heading back to the starting point. However, it would take us a long time to get back to the starting point because we were with this whiny American woman who just kept complaining and bitching the entire time during the trek back. And she was so unpleasant, so entitled, and it just made the trek back very unpleasant. We were so glad by the time we got back there and we would never have to see her again because she was just a horrible human being. The ranger for the Buindi National Park gave us a certificate for completing the gorilla trekking before heading back to our driver who would then drive us back to Kabale. Before driving back to Rwanda, we did get a chance to eat at a local place in Kabale to eat some local Ugandan food and I would say that experience was fantastic. Ugandan food tastes so good and the way you order food in Uganda is also very funny because the carbohydrates are for free if you order protein. And when you order protein, you get four pieces of meat along with your food. If you don't decide to get any protein, I think you pay $3 just for a big plate of carbohydrates. And usually the locals do that. They just get a big plate of carbohydrates because it's cheaper and they can eat as much as they want. We gave our driver a very generous tip and then we went back to our original driver, which is Emmanuel, to drive us back to Rwanda and finish our trip in Uganda. Overall, Uganda was a fun trip to do that gorilla trekking, but I'm not sure if I can recommend that company that we went with, which is 
African Adventure Travelers is, I think, their name. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. And don't forget to sign up to our Travel and Live Free newsletter where you can get a 10-step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also get the latest tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on around the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to use travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for that newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.